An American snark missile is ready for launching, and for the first time, the public is taken behind the scenes of the missile test center at Cape Canaveral, Florida. When all preparations are checked, the missile's boosters are armed. If something should go wrong once the snark's in flight, all the control officer has to do is to press the destruction button and blow up the rocket. Radar-controlled cameras, which can film a tennis ball five miles away, are waiting to track the snark as zero hour approaches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire! Booster rockets help the snark in the first seconds of takeoff, and when their power's used up, they drop away to reduce the missile's weight. Now you'll see why it's just as well that these cameras are remote controlled. Now the big missile's on its own, streaking southeastward from Florida along the 5,000 mile range to Ascension Island. But it's under control all the way from monitoring bases on a string of Atlantic islands, several of which were leased to the United States by Great Britain. Each island base is a miniature Cape Canaveral, guiding and recording the flight of a deadly weapon which can almost think. <laughs> 